Hello, I'm Skid and welcome to episode 4 of my Elden Rings playthrough. We have a cave to explore, but before that we have a few minor things to do before I forget. Uh, I want to equip to my offhand of the torch. That has brought me to medium equipment load, I was kind of hoping it would. Uh, let's equip that. It'll be three. Yep. So I assume... Can I attack with it? We can. What we can't do is block with it. Or at least we have it now. Um, okay, so we are going to explore this cave over here. Uh, before I do that... I can't use the mouse to navigate around this. It's very annoying. Uh, before we do that, I want to add a few markers. I want to add kill stuff here. We're going to go with... Actually, no, let's go with sword for kill stuff. How do we remove markers? Back. Place beacon. How do I remove the marker that I'm commonly over? Place beacon, close, markers, sight of gates, zoom, help, markers. Can we... Okay, we can just click it to remove it. Uh, so we've got some things to kill there. We have a cave here. We need to remind ourselves that we do, in fact, need to explore that... And we have a thing that wants to die eventually over here. Okay, so we're going to try to be a little bit less cautious. Just a little. I want to be on my horse if I really want to be chasing them down. Let's get Torrent out. Uh, no. Let me change that. Let's put... Let's put that on this one. Actually, no, we want to keep that one there. Um, no, let's put... We want Torrent on here. We want to heal Torrent with this one. And then that makes four... The emergency return. I will just take off the emergency return eventually. Wait, did I just double jump? On a horse? The horse can double jump. <laughs> Good to know. Why are we getting more loot from these things this time around? Okay, so yeah, I just wanted to collect a few extra things. Um... There is a thing I want to try, but before that... Can you maybe see me? So I'm going to be long till he turns around. I want to sweep this entire area. We're going to do it with a little bit more speed. If we get noticed, we're going to um, summon the wolves. If we get significantly noticed. I don't know why that is so much louder than everything else. Okay, there's one over here. Oh, he's seen me. I'm not here. <laughs> are you just going to burn down the bush? How clever are you? Not clever enough. 
We need to know these things. How much can we abuse the AI's AI? Hello, boar. Again, you gave me nothing. I want your succulent meat. Pork is the best. Okay. Um, e plus one. Can we target it from here? And there are both crimson and cerulean teardrop scallops. Defeat them to replenish your flask that match their type. However, you cannot replenish your flask more than your maximum. So it's not a crystal lizard. That's a shame. I was hoping it was a crystal lizard. Okay, so there's you. There was a guy over here looking this way, but he doesn't appear to be there this time. Nope, he is there. He is still looking this way. our beacon. Hey gauntlets, we are just one piece of armour away from having a full set of armour. <laughs> Unfortunately we are still missing the most important piece of armour. But I think we can afford to buy it now. Yeah, we can just buy the chainmail. So if we don't get a drop from the remainder of these guys, then we will just go and buy it. And here we go. You don't have a particularly long path, do you? Oh, he does. Oh, boar. There's also some things in the ground that I don't recognise. I don't know if I picked them up before. I certainly can't identify them quickly. There's the boar again. Is it going to give my position away? I whiffed. Oh, root resin, yeah, okay. Lump of flesh. I think that just leaves one, maybe two more guys. That guy there, maybe one more guy patrolling. Oh. They didn't drop the armor, let's go buy some. Uh, I'm not going to teleport because I'm assuming that teleporting is going to have um, the same kind of effect as resting at a bonfire. Or resting at a site of grace, more specifically, in that it will respawn all the enemies. Wait, weren't you... well, you're back. Uh, what did we want to get? Armor. I might grab a shield as well, eventually. Okay, hopefully that won't put us on heavy load. 
Uh, Material used for crafting. Used to gain a small number of runes. Used to gain a small number of runes. That's kind of thought that might be the case. I can set it for 200 or 400. How much do I get for using it though? Goodbye. Nice to do business. Oh! His voice sounds very much like um, Hermes. It's not quite the same, but it's a similar kind of... Um, what's the word? Tamba? Uh, no, we'll leave it be. Okay, to the cave. To around the back of the cave first. I don't think there's going to be anything over here, but there's no reason not to at least have a look. Just the bird. Some herb. Okay, let's get out of this... Um, Frame or oh, frame eight nightmare location. Okay, we are going to need the torch here. We still don't have a proper weapon, but at least we now are properly um, armored. Uh, so let's rest on the side of grace. If we got a, or if we're going to unlock this, we may as well rest. Um, and while I'm at it, let's. So it was two hundred and four hundred, wasn't it? Yeah. So we can just sell it for the same amount that we can use them for. actually get a level. Let's put it in decks for the time being because we have a weapon we can use, we just can't use it for another three more levels. Okay. This seems like a good place to give this a try. Can we not do that in here? Or can we not do it while crouching? Or do we not have the mana for it? How do we use this? Because we got given a bell as well, didn't we? Do we have to have the bell equipped? No, because we can't equip the bell for there. Maybe we don't have the FP? Summons three lone wolf spirits. Maybe we can't summon them here? Maybe we can't summon them in here? These walls very well might wreck my day. So I want to be sure. Oh, we opened the crafting menu. That's not what we was after. Uh, no, we do have the FP, so it's not that. Uh, do we actually have to treat it like a spell? No, 
No, that doesn't make sense because then why would it be equipable to there? Yeah, it doesn't count as a spell. Okay, two of those items can be used. The wolves still can't. Hmm. We need to figure this out because this is going to be kind of important for us if we're playing this entirely solo, which we have to, thanks to the mods. Strengthen ashes to plus one. Strengthen's ashes. Is that... No, that's got to be something else. I can't have collected two things that are going to increase my um, flasks. A bell that summons various spirits from ashen items. Use ashes. So they're used to upgrade these. Why can't why are we not allowed to summon it? Do we have to be mounted? Okay, let's have a look at the um, tutorial message for it. Maybe we have to be in combat or something. Uh, actually, while I'm thinking about it. Let's make some more of those. Uh, since we only have one of those, we'll save that for now. Go back. Inventory. Uh, weapons, bows. Um, uh, someone lurks among the waypoint ruins on the road through Limegrave. I'm assuming that has to be... Uh, no, because that has a name, but it does have that um, thing there. That Sides of Grace, Guidance of Grace, about the map. Fast travel sites about death. Uh, you can update your map with new information by finding map fragments. Uh, yeah, no, they're called something else. This one? About some spirits. Um, with a spirit calling bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirits. Summoning typically consumes FP. Um, you can only summon one type of spirit at a time. You cannot summon spirits during multiplayer. So that doesn't give any indication that I shouldn't be able to do it now. I'm literally not online. I definitely have the FP. But it says to use the bell, but I can't equip the bell. I can't even use the bell. I could try equipping it to there instead. No, even then that won't work. It definitely appears to be what the game wants me to do, to do it that way. I may have to look this up after the fact. can't see a legitimate reason that I can't use it. Um, 
It doesn't seem like the bell is something you equip. And I have the FP. Let's just double check. FP cost is 55. We have enough. We should be able to use it. If you can't use it because you're playing in offline mode, that is bullshit. But I'm wondering if there's not an, another mitigating factor. Okay, well, let's have these wolves kill us. Because we can't summon wolves of our, of our own. Ah, so that's what that line is. It is a line that your horse cannot cross. Turn the torch off. We can kill one of these almost immediately. Assuming I don't horrendously overshoot. I see at least three. In fact, whoop, that will see me. There is one more, there's four of them there. I had two of them almost dead and there was one behind me still. Oops. So they die in a heavy attack in a bit. If I got the plunge or the jump attack, then I may have been alright. I think my souls are going to be straight down in the middle of those guys, aren't they? Yeah, so... There's one there, one there, one there, one there. How did that second one miss? Follow me through the cave. Oh, come on! I disagree that that shouldn't have hit. Oh, that didn't hit at all. That should have hit. Okay, so we've got the big one. We've used all of our flasks. This wasn't exactly the best place to fight them. Actually, no, it wasn't a bad place to fight them. I just fought them very, very poorly. Okay, so I can't guard whilst uh, like that. We've killed three of them, but I know there's four. There's the other one. Oh, screw you, game. I was clearly locked on that thing. Stay 
down. Are you dead? Something down there. Can we pick up this moss? Interesting, I can lock onto something. I sure as hell can't see it. Ah, there's a wolf over there. I'm guessing there's another wolf over there. Okay, it continues that way. We can't get back up. I can't get the moss that's up there. Can we not get back up? Can we jump? Can we climb? Nope. Okay. We can get that one there. We still can't see the one that's kind of in the water. That one there. We can't... I can't see that. All, all, that. all I can see is that it's marked. I want to get back to my fire. Oh, <laughs> same. Killed a pack. Can't you give me back one of my uh, flasks, please? Can I have a flask back, please? Can I have a way out, please? <laughs> I am trapped down here. There's almost certainly more things than walls down here. Ah, way out. Okay, now at least we know that we can probably get down here and run to our things. Well, yes, this looks promising. Bones on the ground. Fog gate. Interesting place to have a fog gate. I'm not about to walk through that fog gate when I have no health left. I'll have to try and kill these wolves with a little bit more care. I'll sneak past a bunch of them. I think we did get enough back enough bones to make it worth crafting more of these. Actually, no, we're still... Yeah, because we missed a whole bunch for no good reason. Some phasing through, some just because I threw too many. Okay, let's get our flask back. Steady progress, bit by bit. Let's put that away. I want to summon the wolves. Let me summon the wolves.
They've noticed. Okay, he doesn't do too much damage, at least. Why did I jump attack there? I shouldn't have jumped attack there. Hey, we can summon them now! First proper boss kill. Flame Drake Talisman. Okay, so that's why you can only use the um, wolves in either specific, specific circumstances or boss fights. But the question is, have I lost them now? No, it looks like we still have them. And they're upgradable. Return to entrance. Good lord. The convenience. I don't have to go past all the wolves again. Uh, we've already got all the items, but... Let's see if there's anything else here. Oh, cave keeps going in deeper. So we will poke our, nose, poke our head in a little bit further. So it gave us a talisman. Let's see what the hell that actually is. Boots... or oh, boots fire negation. Does it weigh anything? It weighs a small amount. So I'm guessing talismans are effectively our rings, although we only have one slot. I wonder if that'll change in the future. So quick way out. Okay, now this is... Yeah, this is the main entrance. This is just a different connect, uh, cave to it. So if we go back this way... Oh wait, no, that's the way we came in. I'm being a dumbass. <laughs> I'm getting myself turned around. That's the way we came in. What is this? That is something. That is definitely a something. I refuse to believe this is not a something. Rest the ring. What was the other one we got? Strength is what we got, wasn't it? Is that effectively our praise the sun? I refuse to believe that that thing there is just an incidental detail they put in here. Vomsoft don't tend to do that kind of thing. Because <laughs> that is horrendously out of place. What is a little obelisk doing? 
in a place like this. Just sitting in the water. Oh well. Dungeon cleared. We got a talisman out of it and not much else. Um, we may have got a bunch of souls as well. How many souls? Oh, we did get some runes. Enough to level up again. Flasks. I assume we can't do anything with that. This. Allocate flask charges. Increase the amount replenished by flasks. Okay, so that needs a sacred tear, which is not what we have. It needs a golden seed, which we don't have. Uh, that's a 200, which I don't think is going to be... Oh, it will give us enough. I think that will give us just enough to level one more time. Excellent. Okay, four more levels and we can use the flail and get rid of this club. Uh, I should have just teleported to where I actually wanted to be. So we don't need this anymore. Hmm, I'm kind of curious if there's not something over on these cliffs here. Because it looks like those cliffs may actually be scalable. Let's only go have a look. This is an open world game. There is no reason to follow the um, the track it's leaving or leading us down. So indications are if we head down this way, we may be able to get down onto the cliff face. Oh wait, we can summon him now. Why can we summon them now but we couldn't summon them there? Well, there's something over there but that's going to require us to cross the water, isn't it? Is there a sandbank? No, we will have to cross the water to get over to there. I kind of want to kill the birds, even though we don't have an, a, a bow and arrow yet. A bow and arrow will be an easier way to kill the birds. But no, we'll leave it for now. Yeah, I just wanted to wander over here to see if there wasn't... Oh, there's one of those jump platforms. So this is how we can get all the way back up. We need to be able to get down first. Oh, tarnished golden sunflower. Okay, keep an eye out for that. See if we can find a way down. Oh my god, let's see if we can find our way safely down. Hello. Just because you exist doesn't mean I have to fight you. You guard a way down, but it doesn't look like you 
strictly speaking. Doesn't look like we strictly speaking have to fight you. Is the double jump enough to get up? Can we derp our way up to the top of this? Maybe. It may be possible, but we may kill ourselves in the attempt. Hey, there we go. I do not like the looks of those things I'm seeing on my right hand monitors. They don't look nice. fell down. Okay, here's a fairly long patrol path, so we can get ourselves back down. Uh, I think we can survive this? Yeah. None of these ruins seem to have entrances. I don't think we can catch up with it, I just wanted to see if I could follow it in its path. Head over there in a second. There's definitely something running around here. You can hear the footsteps. I don't think we can want to attack it. Hmm. Maybe we need to wait until it's night. And then it'll become visible. Are you friendly? You look potentially friendly. You're not friendly. I can do that too. Good fight. Good fight. The two butterflies. Strip of white flesh. So that's where we get that from. Dead people. It's a shame you couldn't have dropped your sword. 
or anything in fact I would have approved of anything at this point um how many souls did we get for that oh okay we need to be breaking the um shining skulls I tried to break them once I must have missed it But there's a bunch of Shining Skulls um, back up there. Uh, I do not want to be tangling with those things without some kind of magic or fire. Golden Boom. Up the hill. There's another tortoise. We don't have a use for tortoise neck yet. So I'm disinclined to kind of um, make a point of grabbing some. I assume you don't drop anything either. If we break you. No. So we need to be smashing all the glowy skulls. Hello? How many of you are there over there? One, two, three. We don't have that many souls. We can run around them easy enough. We spot a cave. Coastal cave. Oh, it does eventually mark them, but you probably have to get right up into them. Has he seen me and come my way? See another campfire. There's another one of those dudes. Is there a sight of grace in here? Is so generous with how many of these there are. Uh, nothing's really going to respawn if we use that, but I imagine if we go in any further we're going to find more of those goblin thingies. I don't much feel like exploring this today. We're 50 minutes in anyway, so I think we'll pass for now. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Incidentally, it is Wednesday the 2nd of March here. I'm recording these a week and a day in advance at the minute. I kind of want to sit down and do it in one large recording chunk. Is that just the reflection of the water? Yeah. So I imagine if we step over this mark, we die. So does that mean that there is a path over there? this angle. Fast way up is over there, so um, let's wander over here. Let's... 
Oh, we can't abuse our power in a minute. I imagine we, um, it requires a pretty sizable area to summon in. That might be the requirement. I'd assume like here would probably be big enough. Oh no, we've used some of our FP. We don't have enough FP at the minute. Nope, you're a trader, you're fine. Hey! What do you need? I don't want any trouble. What do you sell? <sighs> you actually sell weapons! You sell stuff that is of use to me. Um, but you also have the cookbook. That's Armour's cookbook. Expands crafting repertoire. Uh, let us... Buy all the things. Uh, by buy all the things, I mean this, this and this. Because of course these are the more important things. Not actual weapons. No. Crafting recipes and notes and special things. These are the items we want first. Well done. Well done. Uh, be on your way then. Will be. So let's have a look. What crafting recipes has that given us? Elemental arrows. Well, fire arrows and bolts specifically, but still. Um. It's also given us this. Great dragonfly head. Found by hunting large dragonflies. It does tell us. Well, we know where they are, it's just we didn't do a particularly good job of killing them. So what about your notes? Did I purchase worthwhile information? Um, waypoint ruins. Can we destroy these? Once we think we're done with them. Waypoint ruins. Flask of Wondrous Physique. A flask of wondrous physique still remains at the third church of Markriff, north of Mistwood. So, let's have a quick look at the map. It's Limegrave. Grove side cave. So this must be Grove. That's Stormfoot Catacombs. Coastal Cave. So I don't think we've found Mistwood yet. Waypoint Ruins. There's Stormgate. Gatefront Ruins. It's not Waypoint Way, um, Waypoint Ruins. So potentially there's a cave there? It's drawn on the map. Some of these others are not. Um, so yeah, we don't know where Mistwood is and we don't know where Waypoint Ruins are. But it looks like they should be indicated on the map, so it doesn't look like these are cryptic clues as such. Land... Uh, or land squirts are soft when they touch the ground. Uh, and poison will cause them to um, rupture. So I think that's a how to kill these things quicker. Land squirts. The thing that comes to mind is those um, fleshy bags that were spitting poison out at me. Which kind of doesn't make sense that poison would cause them to rupture. Um, 
So maybe it's a flying enemy of some description? Uh, the heads of the stone digger trolls bear old wounds. Which makes me think hit them in the head and it will deal more damage. Because the heads are already tenderized as such. So that's given me information on enemies and ways to deal with them. Whereas this has given me information on locations and things that might be there. It's getting to night time. I don't think it's quite night time yet, but it's getting to night time. I think I'm about happy with how I have the control set up. Are they always all runes? Yeah, that's the way... Uh, hello? Yeah, we're not going to be able to do much to this thing. that effort for 16 runes. Yeah, I kind of figured that would probably be pointless. Okay, one quick last thing before we um, before we save and call it quits for today. Episode's probably going to be a little over an hour because I need to get over there and it's all the way over here. I want to see if my idea was reasonable that... Okay, no, we still can't summon. What does that symbol mean? symbol means something. I'm damned if I know what it is. It doesn't look like it's visible. That's a shame. I was wondering, does this thing become visible once it becomes night? Apparently the answer is no. I don't really want to attack it. What's with the lighting change? Did the moon come up? Yeah, no, it's officially night now. Okay, we'll leave it there. No more messing around. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. We have died one more time. Was it just the once? to the wolves and then everything else was fine um something like it, yes thanks again for watching i hope you enjoyed the show we'll be back again tomorrow for friday's episode um i'll probably keep going further down this um uh, this beach see how far we can go and then we may go inside that cave 
Uh, we'll take on the three um, goblin things on the outside first to give us some idea as to what we're getting ourselves into. Um, but yeah, that'll be the plan. So thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the show, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheerio.